This last section is intended to help you understand the connection between machine learning, deep learning and computer vision and to enable you to learn more about a specific topic if you are interested. Ever since the first computers were developed, there has been a desire for machine learning methods that allow machines to adapt to their environment. However, since computers are far inferior to humans in terms of learning ability, research into the mechanisms of learning and the development of machine learning processes is one of the most important areas of artificial intelligence. Instead of helping the machine to learn facts by heart, machine learning aims to enable the machine to learn and apply the method for solving a problem independently. For example, when adding natural numbers, it is hardly possible to store every possible solution, since there are an infinite number of possibilities for the assignment of variables for each of the two summons and thus for the sum. Instead, the machine is to be trained with the help of examples and learn the solution procedure independently. This process is called generalization. A simple example of machine learning is classification using characteristics. Imagine you have the task of classifying a potato harvest into quality categories. The characteristics that decide which category a particular potato belongs to were determined by the expert in our case, the farmer. So the target assignment of the variables is known. Sorting according to these characteristics, such as weight, size or shape, is extremely laborious for humans. It would therefore make more sense to train a machine that independently derives a classification function based on the given characteristics. Suppose we divide the potatoes into two classes, class A and class B. In this way, a machine learning procedure could calculate a classification curve as shown in the figure. In this case, only two characteristics were used for classification, namely size and weight. In the two-dimensional case, one can see very well how the boundaries of the classification curve run and which samples were assigned to grade A and which to grade B. In other examples, such as the classification of real estate, a variety of features can be used whose feature vectors span a one-dimensional hyperspace. Analogous to the two-dimensional case, a function is also taught in hyperspace, which classifies samples accordingly. A graphical representation, as in the two-dimensional case, is then of course no longer possible. In supervised teaching procedures, we know the correct answers, for example, by the farmer's expert in the classification of the potato crop. In unsupervised learning procedures, data is fed to the machine whose target values are not known in advance. The machine tries to detect patterns in the input data that deviate from structureless noise. Examples of such methods include a compressor segmentation of a market or the analysis of astronomical data. Especially when using computer vision for image recognition, multi-layer neural networks are used which abstract the features for classification in an image in the layers of the network to such an extent that it is no longer possible to recognize which features were used for classification. Thus, the human being does not have to predefine special patterns in an image, but the machine recognizes them independently. The discovery of unknown patterns in huge amounts of datasets is aimed at by the discipline of data science and big data procedures. Deep learning networks are often used to analyze enormous amounts of data. The year 2011 is considered the birth year of deep learning. This year, researchers from Google X Labs took the database of YouTube and extracted 10 million still images. They then fed these images into the Google brain. A network of a thousand computers that, like a toddler, would absorb information of all kinds. 
For three days, it browsed over the images, searching for recurring patterns, and finally decided that the flood of images could be divided into individual categories. Human faces, human bodies, and cats. It seems to be a special preference of the users to post cat videos or pictures on YouTube and Facebook. As a subset of machine learning, deep learning networks use multi-layered neural networks to carry out the process of machine learning and to mimic the complexity of the human brain. The first layer of the neural network is the visible input layer and processes the raw data input, like the individual pixels of an image for example. Since these are variables that we can observe, it is called the visible layer. This first layer passes on its expenditure to the next layer. The second layer processes the information from the previous layer and also passes on the result. The next layer receives the information from the second layer and proceeds in the same way. It is said that a network that is built this way contains hidden layers. The characteristics contained in them become increasingly abstract. Their values are not specified in the original data. Instead, the model must determine which concepts are useful for explaining the relationships in the observed data. The result is output in the visible output layer, the last layer. Multi-layered deep learning networks abstract features in their deeper layers to such an extent that after such a network has been taught with training data, it is actually no longer possible to clarify what the classification function of the network ultimately looks like. Instead of developing complicated human-made algorithms, as in the early days of AI, which were supposed to enable the machines to solve everyday problems, these deep learning methods allow the machine to develop an algorithm itself. Deep learning was a breakthrough in many areas of AI, such as the recognition of speech, handwriting or faces. But especially for one area of AI, deep learning represents an enormous impetus into the future. Machine vision. Machine vision and the following called computer vision traditionally includes all techniques to enable a machine to recognize its environment. Although we humans have incredible visual abilities, it is not clear what features we use to create such visual performance. In general, computer vision algorithms work by extracting features from images and grouping them into vectors. These feature vectors are then classified, for example, to determine whether a cat or dog is in the image. In the 1990s, computer vision used to feature descriptors such as ZIFT or SURF to classify images and recognize objects and faces. They are characterized by people selecting features such as edges, corners or colors that they believe are relevant to object recognition. To improve performance, these descriptors have been combined with traditional machine learning algorithms for classification, support vector machines and k-nearest neighbors. In the computer vision community, these approaches are called traditional techniques. The following figure shows two application areas of computer vision. On the left, an attempt was made to recognize an object in an image. The SURF method was used for this. SURF is the abbreviation for speeded up robust features. Simplified, it can be said that SURF stores special feature areas, the so-called blobs, and tries to find them again on a new image. These guidelines are intended to illustrate this. On the right picture, you can see the application of object tracking. Here a Kalman filter was used to predict the future positions of the robots. The Kalman filter calculates the future position of the robot based solely on the previous value. The prerequisite for a good performance of such an algorithm is that the path of the two robots do not change abruptly but move along a path.
There are special markers for object detection by means of surf which allow detection even under the worst conditions. In this case you will see a camera image of the robot shown above with a resolution of 300 by 200 pixels. On the left picture you can see the reference image that the robot has in memory. In this live image of the camera the reference image is now uniquely matched. In principle a waypoint recognition was implemented here. The immense hype of deep learning also hit computer vision after the turn of the year 2000. At the latest, however, after the publication of the paper ImageNet classification with deep convolutions neural networks in 2012, it was already cited several thousand times by other researchers and the trained network for the classification of images quickly became the standard model of the famous framework for multi-layer neural networks, CAFI. A convolutional neural network is also an artificial neural network. It is a concept inspired by biological processes in the field of machine learning. Convolutional neural networks are applied in numerous modern AI technologies, mainly in the machine processing of image or audio data. Basically, the structure of a classical convolutional neural network consists of a convolutional layer followed by a pooling layer. In principle, this unit can be repeated as often as required. If the repetition is sufficient, one speaks of deep convolutional neural networks which fall into the field of deep learning. The convolutional neural networks represent a further development of neural networks. In order to achieve a better generalization, behavioral rules are used instead of weights. In this case, the information of the neighboring pixels is bundled and passed on to the next layer. Again, the net network consists of an input layer, several successive hidden layers and the output layer. From input to output, the size of the image is greatly reduced so that the pixels in the last layer contain the information of the entire image. There are many different modifications of a convolutional neural network. An example is FSRCNN, which is used for upscaling low resolution images. At this point, the more advanced techniques will not be listed. Instead, after this last section, you are now in a position to better assess the terms used in AI and to familiarize yourself with an area of your choice. I wish you every success in this endeavor. A fascinating world full of possibilities awaits you.